Okay, now I'm back on the project. Okay, I'm taking a little video of this. What I'm working on. I'm a little fisheye camera out. The motor board is completely wired. Got all these tied together. I left the link. I left the link. So that way, if any time in the future a motor needs to be changed out, there's plenty of uh, wire and cable. I'm using an outdoor rated 10-4, 10-AW-4 wire. And I've got hot, I got two hots, one hot for three motors, one hot for the other, so it's 220. And I have a ground for three and a ground for the others. And then whenever we get the, whatever we're gonna use for the plug, these grounds will be tied together and then the two hots and then the grounds will be tied together to ground everything and i left this kind of long so that way uh i mean we'll end up probably having to use an extension cord depending on where this is set but still we got plenty of length here to run outside the box that's all set and now next up i'm going to get the all the part all the pieces for this box that the, the motor box, vacuum box, or blower box, um, and I'm gonna build the box to put that in, so it's done. And then the third step will be building the actual trap door that changes the direction of flow. So uh, let me get back on this. I'm gonna get all those boards, get them all marked up, and then get the drilling. I got a lot of drilling. Can I see the picture? Yeah, there's the picture. Picture of you. No, Madison's know. in the picture. I want to hold she picture. probably wants something. Where are you going, Madison? <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, even Isla's helping. We've always got that racket in the background, too. I know. Now, we're making some progress because we got all the, the, the supply plenum. Got all the holes key. marked. I caught it on my two. I caught it on my two. Quarter inch. I caught it on my two. Supply base, lid, back plate. All the holes are marked to drill. I didn't know. Side plates, both side plates. Daddy, I don't so know. Now we gotta take it in and drill it. But that only Got to go, Isla. We're on the next step. Let's go. We're on the next step.
test fit out. I'm only putting one screw in each panel just to test it out. And that way I can find out where I'm going to crack out the little jigsaw so I can notch that for the power cable. that notched out. Then I take one panel off at a time and glue them. But we don't glue uh, the motor board to the box and we don't glue the lid. That way we can get access to it to change out motors or work on stuff. I had to go through and drill pilot holes in all these too. Not only drill the bigger holes, but go through and uh, do pilot holes to keep this from splitting out because this stuff wants to split really easy. Sides, ends, base, all glued. There you have it. Glued, screwed, and tattooed. box ready to be wired up.